Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. With you just coming up as a kid. Oh, well. Oh, we go all the way back. Okay, all the way back. You know, all right, man. Shout out to Lowe's Jr., a.k.a. Carlos Walker, you know, my dad is who he is, Shaw the Low, Bankhead, Born Homes, you know, all that. And that that's me, Bankhead, Born Homes. Um, I moved to the south side of Atlanta when I was like, let's say 12, 13, that's Old National, Hollis Park area. Um, Just growing up, like, with a father and a mom like that because they, they really both hustle. You know, my mom yeah. used to kind of work for dad. Okay. So um, just just being around that, you know, just being with my dad and he hustled and, you know, just in born homes, you know, they had it tra- all day. like All day long. Man, we had um th- the three shifts. You know, it was three eight-hour shifts, so. It was people, you know, it was a different set, and they just used to come through all day. And sometimes we didn't even get the the kids, we there, and we don't even get to go home. So, you know, it's been there three, four, five in the morning, nodding off, falling asleep. Man, like, hey, bro, when are we going home, man? I ain't no going home, man. Oh, no, we here for the night. <laughs> just, you know. That sound like him, too. That, the crazy <clears throat> part is, is, is the age you saying that it was going down at and I know cause I used to hustle too so I get it so you were actually in the midst like you seen the you seen the drugs or you oh, seen yeah, yeah. you seen what was the popping. money counter the money that. counter oh. you, you knew that sound yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was trying to tell you like, it was crazy you know yeah, so, so when you seen it first you, you felt like it, you know cause I heard him say something one time he said I was getting so much money he said I was getting I thought everybody was getting like he was saying I getting a hundred thousand at a time he said I thought everybody was doing it cause I was doing it I felt that when he said it so you seen all of this going on I'm seeing it man as a kid you know um, like around the ages is four, five, six, and seven and stuff like that. So I'm seeing it, but you know, as a kid, you don't really know what's going no. on, but you seeing yeah, it, you but think you don't normal. know. You think yeah, normal. you think it's normal. Yeah. Like you, yeah, so you thinking this is normal, but it's really not. And so you seeing all the cars and all every, the you in the cars. You in get, the cars, around the women. Like, you know, I done been in the hood, like playing football, like with the neighborhood kids and stuff. And then, you know, I, I, I see my dad coming around the corner running. And then after that, got I see the police Coming around the corner too So but I seen him On his phone And I, and it was a lady Came my side So So he was running And she came my side And he ran to her house So when the police Came around the corner She was like He ran that way But he really ran in the house So he had to call her I was like Look at this I am like What is this is like a movie Yeah yeah like, yeah Like no nah, for real Like man so I seen a lot Drive bys I don't see people get shot Killed like Jay's at the door, like all type of stuff. Like man, so, I, I'm seeing it all. Did, so what got you in the sports? Cause you you ended up playing football. Um, early yeah. On. Okay, yeah. Okay, so my mom, she used to hustle, you know, too. But um, you know, and I was always good at football, and you know, I was always just you know just around the neighborhood playing football, basketball, and basketball. When I was young, so I used to suck, but on um, football. I was the truth. You was a dog, yeah. Oh yeah. So I was the truth. So you know, um, my mom had met this guy, and um, and um, he made like kind of helped her change her life, and she, she turned over to God, and you know, and I seen how she was struggling, you know, like sometimes we really have food or this or that or whatever the case may be. So I told her, I say, Mom, I'm going to the lead. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna yeah. take care of you. Yeah, yeah. So you know, that was just my passion and my dream at the time. So, you know, I, I just stayed focused with it. And, you know, um, high school, college, um, I was, I actually was talking to um, Georgia State and Sam Houston and stuff, but my, my senior year, excuse me, my senior year, I hurt my arm um, back. So, you know, and people were like, you know, I just want to see if you can still play. So I went to um, a junior college in Cali. But then when I came back, for Thanksgiving break, that was 2012. That's when I got in trouble, and I didn't go back. So, and and the crazy part is, how was it like when you were growing up and you went to playing football and everybody knew you was you was Shorty Lowe's son? Mm-hmm. Um, did that open doors for you, or did that cause issues for you? Um, I mean, like I ain't showing this nigga no favoritism because he's Shorty Lowe's son. Or see, but that was actually good though like my my um coaches and stuff you know they was hard on me j- just like they were hard on everybody else kid because you know I'm, I'm i'm out here so they gonna push me to be great 
and have that mindset, you know, just like everybody else, you know, so I ain't get no fairy tales. And it was like sometimes like when like when I was playing bad and stuff and they'll take me out of the game and my dad and my mom at the game. I'm like, Coach, we need to put me in the game. He was like, I don't care because your dad's up there. I don't care about him being shorty low. Shit, you finna sit right here. And wow. I, and, and it really, like, damn. Shit hurt me. So I look back and my dad watching. He's like, what's going on? I'm like, Man. You done got so, yourself in the jam. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So, so you know, but like, you got stuff like that, you know. That, but, builds, that builds integrity and ethics too, man. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that made me want to work harder, get better, you know, because... I wanted my parents to see me do good and, you know, shine and stuff. So it just made me f- focus more. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.